I'm Jennifer from Sea Lemon, and I'm so happy to be guest hosting HGTV Handmade this month. If you haven't heard of my channel, I make a lot of DIY videos, and if you want to see more of what I do, I invite you to subscribe and check it out. In this video, I'll show you how to transform a blank project into a more luxurious material with a simple DIY faux Carrera marble pattern which you can make by hand. I'll be applying this to a plain white container, but you can also try this on just about any white surface. You can use any medium of your choice. I prefer using oil-based paints or pastels just because they blend really well for this. Also, it helps to have a real image of marble to look at as you work, and you can easily find one by searching online. Okay, let's get started. The supplies include my blank white container, a paper towel, and a black oil pastel. Then I'll be using my fingers for the blending because I think they work well for this. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, you can also use a sponge or a cotton ball. First I started out by making lines that are going all in the same direction and then smudging them with my finger. And just keep doing this, building up more layers of soft gray areas. Now on top of those very soft lines, you want to make more defined lines, making the veins of the marble. And if you mess up, you can just smudge it away with your finger or wipe it away with a paper towel. If you're applying this to a smooth surface, the oil pastel is really easy to work with, so you don't have to worry too much about messing up. To make it more realistic, try not to make it so uniform. You want some random spots here and there with varied areas of gray and black lines to make it look more natural. Now that I have the top done, I'm going to repeat the same process on the rest of the container. Again, you want to make the lines of the marble going all in a similar direction. They don't all have to be exactly the same, just so that they are going in the same flow or grain. I decided to go with a diagonal on the rest of the container, making varied spots of gray and then more defined black lines. If you're using an oil pastel, you can draw really lightly. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to transfer the color onto your project. The subtle details can really give it that marble texture. You can also go back to make touch-ups, and I think I'm good with this whole container. And now I think it's time to wash my hands so I don't put smudges on anything else and take the whole container outside to spray. I'm using a gloss clear spray varnish to seal in the entire design so that the oil pastel no longer smudges. Using a gloss finish will also make it look more like marble. After about three coats and some drying time, my container is finally finished. I'm using this container to put some of my random odds and ends into, and I really think this faux marble method can add an upgrade to just about any piece of home decor. I also think this would look great on frames and tabletops. What would you add this marble treatment to? Let me know in the comments below, and if you try this out on your own project, I would love to see pictures, so be sure to add hashtag HGTV Handmade to them. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to HGTV Handmade. For another marble project, check out this video right here where I applied it to a phone case, and it also shows you a lot of other ways you can decorate your cases. I'll see you guys next week.